Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is just a short video that uh, talks about the idea of elementary matrices and uh, the definition is given as follows. So here we have a square matrix n times n. It is called elementary matrix if it can be obtained from the identity matrix by single elementary row operation. So uh, if we want to imagine the process, well, you have an identity matrix of size n, and then you just perform one single elementary row operation, and that will immediately turn it into an elementary matrix. Okay, so that's the idea. And below here are um, some examples well you can see that this is a 4 by 4 matrix therefore the identity matrix associated with that is 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 so this is the identity matrix and you can see um, mm, the first row here is okay it's similar to this one uh, the third row is similar to this one and the fourth row is similar to this one right here but uh, there is a slight change in this uh, second row and uh, that changes can be obtained when you consider multiplying 3 with the second row of identity matrix so 3 times the second row and you will get this uh, new elementary matrix so just one single operation. Okay, uh, next. Uh, this is again a 4 by 4 matrix. So here, uh, if you want to see uh, what sort of operation has been done, well, if you can't really see it, well, try to visualize how the identity matrix looks like. So that is... Um, one way of trying to to do this or trying to understand what sort of operation has been done okay mm. well you can then compare clearly between these two matrices uh, this doesn't look okay okay um, this is okay this doesn't look okay and this is okay so clearly uh, you can see that um, from the comparison of these two matrices this is identity matrix to this one well there have been a change in the third row and our first row and the changes can be uh, obtained if you consider this operation of switching the first row with the third row so by doing this operation we have obtained an elementary matrix from the identity matrix okay and the last example is this one uh, this is again a four by four um, elementary matrix so well a starting point if you can't imagine what the process is gonna be what you can do is you can write down the identity matrix just so that you get some sort of visual understanding um, and then this is the 4x4 four four identity matrix and clearly then you can sort of compare what's going on really so this is okay this is okay too um, this is okay so so there's something here that we need to consider uh, so there must be some uh, change that happened here well um, the value here is negative 2 originally this is 0 uh, and we know that somehow um, this value here can be obtained if you consider um the change in the fourth row here so this is the fourth row and here we got negative two so we somehow know it has something to do with the um, multiplying a constant with the second row so the constant must be negative two times 
the second row and you can try and do it uh, check whether the process is all right so 0 plus negative 2 times 0 you will get 0 0 plus negative 2 you will get negative 2 0 plus negative 2 times 0 is 0 so 0 plus 0 you get 0 1 plus negative 2 times 0 is, is 1 so this is the process uh, one single elementary row operation that you can do to turn this original 4x4 four four identity matrix into an elementary matrix okay uh, let us try and look at this example which of the following matrices are elementary and for those that are describe the corresponding elementary row operation mm. again as i said earlier if you find it difficult to 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 see it or to view it, it or to come up with the elementary row operation what you can do is you can uh, visualize how the identity matrix looks like and and try and see uh, whether it is possible to have just one single elementary row operation that can transform the identity matrix into uh, the new matrix okay all right so based on this uh, comparison uh well you can see clearly that um this is okay now there's something wrong here uh, that, uh not with exactly something wrong what i mean is by that is um, it doesn't look like um, the original identity matrix so they, mu they must have had some change to it and this is okay so uh, clearly there's a change in the second row and this is quite easy to see because the change is at this point here so you can see that clearly this is this is an elementary matrix And uh, it can be obtained if you consider the operation of multiplying obtained by three, multiplying three with the second second row. Okay, so that is uh, the corresponding elementary row operation. Now, how about question B? Well, for question B, this is not an elementary matrix. Not an elementary matrix because uh, this is not a square matrix since this is not a square matrix so we go back to the definition here that says uh, it has to be a square matrix n times n okay now how about the third question here so well, again, uh, let us try and see the identity matrix, how it looks like. So, so we can clearly compare or maybe get the idea by visualizing what sort of transformation that takes place from the identity matrix to this um, new matrix. Well, um, you can see clearly that this um, is the row that has been changed and um, what we can do is we can see that here is 0 this is 2 so this is the change uh, this one here remains the same so um, it is possible that this value is obtained by considering oops sorry by considering the change in in row 2 plus multiplying the constant 2 with row 1 so you can see well 0 plus 2 you will get the new one 2 1 plus 0 you will get the same value here so this is 1 so there is a possible single elementary row operation that can be applied to turn this matrix into this new one and so this is an this is an elementary um uh, this is an elementary matrix yeah
Okay. Uh, right. Let's write down the full conclusion. This is an elementary matrix obtained by uh, applying this process. Okay, our uh, last example here. 1001010001. And um well, this is this looks okay. This looks like there is a change. And this is also another change. Well, you can see that in order to get this value, for example, what you need to do is I need to um, consider a change in the second row, which can be done if I consider this uh, process, which is R, um, R2 times with 2. So that is the process that I can do if I want to change from this to this. So that is one operation. And how about this one? So this one can be obtained if I consider multiplying this third row with negative 1. So negative 1 R3. Therefore, um, the elementary row operations, um, the number of elementary row operations that we have to do is 2. And therefore, this is not an elementary matrix. Since um, we have to do two elementary row operations. Since we have to do two elementary row operations. Okay, based on the definition, you have to do only one or just a single elementary row operation. Okay. Right. Uh, I think uh, that's all for now. Um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, see you in the next video.